That makes me feel kind of like a hippie at this angle. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> what? If you're new here, subscribe. My husband is just like. He thinks I look like Indiana Jones in this hat. You're so mean. All right, put the cat down. Let's go. Oh, he's so I don't care if he's little. We gotta go. Oh. I know, compared to Lindy's cat, he is like a baby. All right, love, will you grab that basket? I'm trying to get a little bit better about um, not like shopping every single week and like re-wearing some of the pieces that I have multiple times because I feel like I show my photo, my uh, stuff like one way and then that's it and you guys don't ever really see it in any other way. So I'm trying to get a little bit better about that aspect of stuff, but we'll see. It's still just like part of the job is to shop and stuff, but. We are going to be doing this. So we are, can you see that? Kind of gonna be like matting our diplomas ourselves because the frames to get them matted were over 200 bucks. Not doing that. That's his money. What did you ask me to get? What do you want? Uh, tape measure. Or I guess I could just. Cut it in place. I was about to say, I guess I could just trace it. It doesn't have to be perfect, does it? It just needs to be. No, it needs to be. Well, what it is is I how, want. How loosely did the frames and glass sit? Oh, so I know very tight. What I want you to get the tape measure for is I want you to center. Oh, that needs major cleaning. <laughs> um, these are not covered, by the way, so be be very careful if you like have liquids around them. Um, well, those are that's real tight. Yeah. We did it. They wrote a lot more on mine than they did yours. Mine's got all kinds of extra yeah. junk on there. You know what's crazy is look at this. So the 20th day of May. That's what I'm saying. Like, they just like 2018, but look at this. The 20th day of May, 2017. We graduated literally one year apart. Looks so good. I don't think they wrote more on yours. I think you just have a space. Yours is a little bit bougier than mine but your degree is a little bit more high status than mine. So oh, no, it's not that it's any your bigger. Your school is it's that They put the, the emblem on the bottom oh, instead okay. of on the top. That's why it's spaced differently. Oh yeah, well, again, your school's a little bit more high status than mine. <laughs> like my school, but. Okay. So it's a little small in comparison to like this, but I did that on purpose because I want to put like some taller decor here, so. There is Sam's. It's on like technically like his side of the room. And then mine. There we go. I don't want to get matching decor for these, but I want to get like similar looking. They look so little on the wall, but it looks really, really good. Yay for DIY. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is horrible. I have the worst story to tell you, but I am ooh, way overexposed. I'm drinking my wine right now. I'm on edge. So I got in from running, right? I run, I live very close to my parents. So let me put you guys down. I'm like shaking. Um, I'm about to film a video. I get in from my house. I get like, I walk up my house and I hear somebody screaming like, yelling at each other. I did not pay any attention, unfortunately. And so I just like walked in the house because we have neighbors, they have parties, like 
whatever. So I walk in the house. So then our dog starts going a little bit crazy and I saw something outside and I was like, that doesn't look good. Why is somebody standing in my yard? I've told you guys I live on a lot of land. If you're in my yard, there's a reason for it. It's not an accident. It's not, a, oh, I'm lost. You're here on purpose. So I look and I see this girl and she's walking and she's walking like this way, right? So the car, I, there's like a blind hill right in front of my house. Car starts backing up as she's walking. him again god my heart hurts for her so she starts walking backwards and he is screaming all kinds of things at her like horrible things and so i looked at sam and i was like sam i need to say something and he was like please don't get involved i was just like okay well, we need to go inside i need to call the police so i call the police my cat is in my freaking thing in there messing with stuff if you see something back there um so we call the police i tell the guy i'm like hey you know i think there's a domestic dispute going on outside my house I have had to call the cops before for like people smashing mailboxes or you know somebody trespassing across the street or whatever but so I know now get the description of the car the description of the people so I kind of got the description of the car the girl the guy um, and I was just telling the cop I was like that he is screaming some horrible things at her like this girl is clearly in an abusive relationship and I'm terrified for her and every part of me just wanted to go get her like just literally pull up and be like please get in my car you are safe with me um and we'll get to that in a minute so turns out i'm telling the cop my you know my name my address sam and i have a mutual friend who um like patrols this area so they actually got on the phone with each other and sam was like hey we're the reporting party like you know you don't have to come by our house because I had said like, yes, I want to see the cop because at this point the girl is still walking down my road. The guy is, I can literally still hear him screaming and what he'll do is he'll stop speed off and then drive up the road and like keep screaming at her. And then when he like can't go anymore, like a car's coming behind him, he'll turn around, speed down the road, come back, keep screaming at her. Like I can hear him screaming. She's far down now. So we told our friend what was going on. And he said he got a domestic call about this couple last night. He knows where they live. He knows who they are. It is smart that we did not get involved. But my heart aches for her, man. That was scary. So I'm a little bit, a little bit on edge. I just, I feel like I could have done more. <sighs> okay, she's gonna be okay. They know who she is. They know who he is. My whole point telling you the story is say a prayer for her tonight. I know I already did. She needs it. Apparently, if this is going on multiple nights to the point that like people are calling the cops, so so I wanted to update you guys on the that ridiculous situation last night. I told you guys that our friend who's a cop, like our mutual, my name's mutual friend who's a cop, checked it out. Um, he was right. It was that couple that. Uh, he had gotten a domestic call about the night before and the night before she had beat the crap out of him uh, uh, That's that's all I'm gonna say about that I just if you're gonna do that kind of fighting and you're gonna stay with each other You need to keep it at your house Don't try to do it out in public. It's ridiculous. I've got to get a lot done tonight I have to finish editing Thursday's video, finish editing tomorrow's video, make tonight's video go live. So it's Monday when I'm filming this. And this is Friday's vlog. Uh, I got a lot to do. Guys! I'm just gonna put, I need to like throw a temper tantrum for a minute. Just gonna. about it on my insta stories today so i'll share it here i'm getting braces again not full mouth not for a long period of time so i got braces 10 years ago they literally came off 10 years ago this july and i had a permanent retainer put in my back let's see one two 
the six teeth. And then I had retainers that were supposed to like maintain my teeth. Um, and by the way, this teeth right here, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, is like discolored and a little bit more sensitive. It's, uh, we'll get into that in a minute. So I had a permanent retainer put on my back six teeth and it broke my freshman year of college because I was flossing and you guys know when you floss you have to like do each side of your teeth. Well, in the up process, I guess I had just flossed so hard that it broke my retainer. I didn't get my retainer fixed and I did not wear my retainers because I lost them. Like my temporary ones you're supposed to wear at night. I lost them. So basically my teeth moved and it has made me unhappy for quite some time, but it's not something that anybody has ever been like, oh my God, your teeth are ruined. It's just, I stare at my face for at least six hours a week every week when I'm editing, at least. Now that I'm doing two vlogs a week and two videos, it's probably more like 10 and 12 hours a week that I spend just staring at my face, me talking, and I do have a shifted jaw. I mean, I've known that for quite some time, but my doctor confirmed it today. My jaw sits like this, like my lower teeth sit over here versus my big teeth up here. My big teeth, my top teeth. Um, and the only way to fix that is surgery. And we are not doing that because I'm a wuss. So no, but because of that, I see this drop down tooth. It is literally six teeth. This one, discolored tooth, is actually something a dentist would fix. My mother had a fever when she was pregnant with me and they think that that is what caused it. Um, it is it basically when my teeth were forming, like in my gums when I was a little baby, it just kind of deformed that tooth. Tooth is fine, it's a little bit more sensitive, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, so they leave it in my mouth. Um, so I'm getting braces in two weeks and I'm a little bit like, it makes me a little bit insecure because I'm 24 years old, but it's my fault that I didn't wear my retainers. I didn't get my permanent retainer fixed when I was supposed to. So I'm accepting it. This has my punishment. You know, I only have to wear them for four months, so it's okay. I keep just saying that four months, four months, four months. And I talked about Invisalign with him. My uh, orthodontist is actually an Invisalign doc. And he just was like, I'm not comfortable. He said, first of all, price point for four months an Invisalign would take up to two years. And he's not even sure that Invisalign could do, could fix this tooth because he said it has come down and done this. And Invisalign can't make a tooth do that. And so I'm getting braces. And <laughs> I'm just, I think I'm more angry because there's nothing wrong with being an adult with braces. I'm just more angry that it's my fault. Like I had beautiful teeth. I saw when I went back to the orthodontist today to get my permanent retainer taken off, I saw the pictures of when my teeth were fresh, no braces. They were beautiful. They were gorgeous. They were white. And now I have like five jacked up teeth. So it's okay. <laughs> we're going to just power through you guys are family so you understand um i mean i have gotten like rude comments on youtube before from someone being like oh my god your teeth are messed up that would be like looking at me going oh my god you're a redhead like the sky is blue the grass is green and my bottom teeth are jacked up a little bit it's okay but it's all right i'm just gonna keep telling myself four months four months four months four months four months it, they won't be on for my older brother's wedding they won't be off you know i won't have them for the holidays and it is four months for a lifetime of happiness versus two years a crap ton of money and it may not even fix them so just figured i'd tell you guys that's where we're at mm, my god i'm so annoyed by it but I just went on a sassy rant on my Instagram stories about it. So I figured I would tell you guys too. I'm going on, let's see. They are the nicest people. By the way, I was telling them about my YouTube channel. Because I was telling them, like, I stare at my face. And they're like, oh my god, what's your name? And they were, like, going to go look at it. So it's really cute. Um, Thursday, May 30th, I go at 11. Ah! All right, friends. We're going to go grab some dinner. So I just had to break the news to Smile Brilliant that I will not be able, or Smile Bright, Smile Brilliant, um, that I will not be able to collaborate with them this month. They were super, super sweet about it. Thank God. I hate doing that. Um, especially after I've agreed to do something, but the braces was a last minute decision, but I can't have... I can't white my teeth with braces, and it's longer than a two-week process, so... They were super sweet, so I'm gonna go grab dinner now. Sam is um at two town meetings tonight. <laughs> Reporter life. All right, hold on.
Um, I have a little bit of medicine on my chest, so if I look like greasy, that's why. But I'm going to go get dinner. Ooh, that's nice. I wonder if we can drive like that. Probably not. Um, but I'm gonna go grab dinner now. Oh, this, this bumps, these bumps itch so bad. I don't know what bit me, but it bit me good. Also, um, have you guys heard the song? Now, I am not a James Charles fan. I have to turn that down so I don't get, um, copyrighted. I am not a James Charles fan officially as of this week. Like, I'm sure you guys have seen everything. If you follow any beauty members, um, I probably am not gonna be able to drive with this thing on because it's probably illegal. But, okay, yeah, we're not even gonna do that. So I'm gonna finish up here, but quickly. James Charles, not a fan. If you follow the beauty community, you know he is legitimately a predator, but I ain't here to get into that in my comment section. But the song Never Enough featuring James Charles by Cimarelli? 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 I don't know. Listen to that song. It is so freaking good. Okay, I'm gonna go grab dinner and um, I'll check in with you guys when I'm there because it is not safe to text and drive, so I'm sure it is not safe to vlog and drive. Okay, so I fully like planned on um, getting there and like eating and talking to you guys real quick. But I just found out that The Bachelorette is now on Hulu. Excuse me. So I literally sat there and was like eating my fries and my burger. And I was like, oh my God, Mariah, you haven't vlogged once. You haven't caught it with it once. I'm gonna finish watching The Bachelorette because I am like geeking out that it is on Hulu because I have been having to live vicariously Hariously through freaking YouTube videos like clips of them after they go up and like bachelorette scoop Instagrammers because I We don't have direct TV. We're like, you know, I guess Millennials like are ruining direct TV or whatever. We only do Netflix and Hulu and then um, I'm just too cheap to buy the like full package where you can watch live TV on Hulu Well, apparently the bachelorette if you just wait a day is on Hulu now. So a ah, little tip for you All right, I'm gonna go watch it now I think I'm actually gonna finish out this vlog. I have vlogged enough about just everything that's been going on this week, um, and I really need a break because it's just, it's gonna be an even busier week as this week progresses, and literally when I'm filming this, it is only Tuesday. So, I will talk to you guys in my next vlog. Make sure to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here, and I'll see you next time.